When we talk about revival, some of the, the main objections that can, that can come up are often related to some of the excesses that take place uh, in environment where the Spirit of God is moving and salvations are taking place. And they are not unique, uh, as a matter of fact, if you look through the history of revivals, beginning with the early church. One good example of that would be 1 Corinthians. Uh, if you read through, you see some of the excesses taking place which Paul needs to address and, and introduce uh, orderly to, to the service and to, and to the gathering of the believers. But even throughout history, you think about uh, the First Great Awakening in America under, under the ministry of Jonathan Edwards as well. You see uh, a lot of uh, that was have to be dealt with in relation to, to excesses. But truth is that uh, the questions we're going to be trying to address is like, are those excesses uh, uh, enough to, to make those moves of God to become unlegitimate? So I think what we're going to be seeking to address in STEM Fem Conference this year is, is precisely that. So come along and, and check it out. Let's see together what the, the Word of God has to say to us in relation to excesses in the midst of revival.